I think if there's enough will, uh, enough uh, reason on both sides, I think that on an exceptional basis, because this has never been done and it's a real challenge uh, to do this uh, in such a short space of time, 11 months, to come up with uh, a trade agreement which is uh, like the ones that we've signed with Canada or with South Korea or with Japan. These are what we call FTAs. Each of these uh, FTAs is made up of rights and obligations and uh, is uh, worded in its own particular way and arrived at in its own particular context, depending on the, con the countries that you negotiate with. The one with South Korea, the South Korean FTA, is not the same in every detail as the Canadian FTA. So my answer is uh, yes, that's the objective, where there's a, a will, uh, there's a way, and we are... Uh, uh, we have the will to find that way, but we are constrained by the uh, decision, if it's confirmed, the decision uh, of uh, Boris Johnson to leave the single market and the customs union at the end of this year. And now is the idea... Uh, that what we need to discuss now is whether he leaves the single market uh, and the customs union with or without an agreement. That applies to trade, but that applies to all sorts of other areas too. In the area of trade, there's uh, fishing, and there, in other areas there is the security. There is a, a risk of, a, uh, of the most serious cliff edge separation without a deal. So we do need to pay particular attention to that part of the negotiation. Now, you were talking about the Canada model. I'd mentioned the other FTA models. When you take uh, into account, as we do, the British red lines, then you end up with a particular method of um, economic uh, cooperation, and uh, there might be others that were available if we had a higher level of ambition. Uh, 